here I have my strawberry plant and um, it recently has exploded oh what's that oh, uh, oh I see that's a little skipper butterfly on my peppermint all the pollination in the world will make this one turn into a fertile fertile plant with seeds that will sprout but it's nice and at least it makes nectar so it <laughs> helps all the other butterflies out here but it doesn't have to worry about that kind of reproduction no peppermint is really good at one thing and that is growing big I've had this plant for less than a month and it was very small when I got it and now it's huge so peppermints don't need to be fertile they just need to be able to clone themselves but as I was saying strawberry plant now strawberry plant are hybrids they uh, they make these little runners as you can see here and they're called stolons because they uh, they grow on the top of the soil or close to the top of the soil and what they do is they make clones and they can uh, they're allowed to clone themselves and they can move further away so that's just one they they could propagate themselves all the little seeds um, of the strawberry that you've eaten before uh, those are the natural normal way for them to well, I suppose they're not they're both natural okay natural is a word that can mean lots of different things depending on who's saying it and what context you're saying it but they're the more traditional way that we know plants to propagate themselves with seeds but strawberry plants will propagate themselves with these stolons the interesting thing though that I've noticed is that recently this plant has exploded with uh, clones. <laughs> um, maybe I'll post some pictures and date them and show you the differences between even about three or maybe four months ago to now. And it's been a really big change. When I've, I've had this plant for a little while and I bought it the same time I bought these two strawberry plants. And these two have grown a little bit, but they've been mostly scorched by the sun. However, this plant has done much better, and I believe there's two big reasons for it. The first reason is because it is um, speckled. It's got little speckling light coming out. It's not um, in the full sun. That's a very big important thing. This honeysuckle tree has allowed it to not get burned. The second reason is because the soil that I have in here is mostly uh, coffee grounds. It's actually almost completely coffee grounds. There's no, not very much actual soil. Um, I mean, probably down below where I put all the coffee grounds, there's a little bit of soil. Or, uh, but the interesting thing is that the uh, the plant. I don't know if you can see. But the, uh, the plants have been growing explosively, but also they've been having some help. And I don't think anything is out here right now. But there's these little crustaceans that live underneath this pile. Here, let me peel it back. Ah, oh, there they are. So, yes, here we go. There's some nematodes and some millipedes and some of these little crustaceans, the springtails they're called, and they live in the soil and they, uh, they come out at night when it's much more moist and not dry and they come and they degrade everything. They um, are detrivores. Detrivores, as you can see, a few seconds and they're already underneath the ground. They don't like it out in the daytime. They're nocturnal. But they have made this, um, they have turned this coffee ground mixture into like a really fertile soil. And so that's been really helpful. If you want, I've actually composed a video for these uh, little creatures and I'll link to it. But um, it's a more scientific look at them. It'll be their, their size and a little bit of more detailed description about these little guys. They're actually a very interesting creature. They're not the only helpers. If you look right here, if you can see, there's some uh, worm castings. Yeah, so 
that stuff right here is a uh, worm <laughs> excrement so there's lots of worms here that are growing in the soil um, and so they uh, they come out I believe they're red wrigglers I bought them a long time ago but I have also other regular earthworms that live around here and so they live in the soil and they make it very much fertile so I think that's those are the two big factors um, not full sun so half sun or or shade and um, and these uh, creatures living in the soil that make it more habitable. Um, those are the two factors that help this strawberry plant grow much better than it used to. Um, <laughs> this is a, I have a very small garden, but I hope to show you many more interesting things and uh, add to this garden and add to my knowledge and add to your knowledge. So until the next video, see you and take care.